Alright, so uh, now we will write the objective function. So after the sign control constraint, you write objective function. So after objective function, now objective function, we have it as well. Equals to what? Equals to what? So after that as well, this can also be summarized to f of x comma y equals to x plus 2y. So let's write the one of them. So now we're gonna be quitting it. So you know the original version was original answer, original writing was y equals to 3, right? Yeah. Right now, yeah. so you know the right it because we need to get the value. So to not waste our time, um, let me quickly do this. Um, just write it. Just just write this and I'll just write so to say to say time. So just write another right hand, right hand. Now, in this case here, um, I start at point, you see, I just iterated back and not rearrange it back to the original one because I'm not talking about objective words. Function first, I identify the constraints because when I'm drawing the when I'm sketching it, I need to identify the behavioral constraints. Let's be here behavioral constraints and uh, the side constraint as well. So when I identify this equation, I just write in, I just rearrange it now, right? Mm -hmm. I don't do anything much. So I know that the side constant always was greater than x. So far as you can be given x comma y greater than or equal to zero, you should know that it's x greater than zero. So far as you might just be given x comma x one greater than or equal to zero, comma x two greater than zero. Just know it is side constant. Then objective function you gotta equate it back. You don't need necessarily need to write this. I'm not writing this for words too. You just have an idea that it might not necessarily not be words p. The other time we have a question that was what objective function was what C, right? Yes. So here as well, be here, can we be here? So at point A, we write when um at point A, first of all, is here, is there any x here in point A? No. So that means that when x was what? Zero, what do we have? So for detailing sake, you must make sure you have. You first of all, substitute your hex so that it cannot be a very detailed um, solution. So, at x equals to 0, y equals to what? So, at this point, I detail this. What do I have? 0, comma. Very simple and very clear, right? Yes, sir. So, second thing, what do you have? At point what? At point what now? Point B. So, what do I have? Point B, and I have the question how to x plus y equals to 5. So what do I do next? I put what? When x equal to zero. Zero. So let's write, let's write. Don't miss that. Don't miss that. Let's write. Let's write. Don't miss that. Five is equal to five. Yeah. So just write, write, because I was only doing this and there's no much time. I will write. Don't worry.
So I'm gonna be explaining this. So before I explain this, I want to write um this thing out. Um He wants to write. So after you have solving this question, you plot the graph. Which I want to write this detail. I want to write this. Let me quickly brush this. I wish I wish we should be true by now. Yes. So I explain at y equals to 3, like these are the equals, these are the vector function now. Then at point A, there's no x there. So I just x equals to 0, y equals to 3. So at point B, when x is what? 0. Yes. We put 0 here now, right? Yes. When I put 0, y as what? 5. So I write it down because it must be x, y, x, y. When y is what? 0, this same point, you write I have my x as 5. So it's like that. Not that you start looking and start, this is taking time. This will take time already. At point C, when x is 0, what will, be y, what will just be 1, right? Yeah. This is 0, 1. Because if you miss this coordinates, you will misinterpret your graph. So what do you do? You just just substitute fix your half. x is 0, what do you have? y is what? 1. That is 0, 1. y is 0, what do you have? x is what? 2, two 0. So at point D, what do you have? x is what? 0. There's no need for y. y is what? 0. Yeah. You understand? Very simple, very simple method. So I want to write this out, right? Um, note that, right? Note that. Okay, before that, before that, write um this first. Um, write somewhere. Write somewhere. Somewhere. Let's write this out. Use. Let's write this. This is a complete I G my I wrote myself. Use set square. For graph coordinates in graphs in graph rather simultaneous equation. So that one will be a cheat to get exact answer for P max and P min. In linear program, linear program. So after this, then this is a note. This is something I want to always pay attention to. So in this case here, you, you can use when you are to draw your graph. Or sketching it or drawing it, you 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 be told to use set square. If you use set square, it's not as detailed as using simultaneous way. What do I say? You guys say what? How much of as it as what? So the so, question should be something you should always do. Except you have exact coordinates, okay? So you always use it to cross check. Now you can use set square, sharp sharp. Only draft, sharp sharp. But this guy is not sharp sharp, but is very exact and is accurate. Now write, note that, write somewhere, write as well, note that there are two types of shading. Note that there are two types of shading. Well, I don't know if you need shading. Okay, we're going to tell you the coordinates of this later. Note that there are two types of shading on the line, on the line that thing. And line that I just said, I just said uh, say now. You know that there are types of shading. Right. One, for the inequalities, right. One, for the inequalities. One, for the, for the inequalities, which is greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to, if you pick greater than, or equal to for down shading. Like
comment you must speak you must speak the lower glazer for up shading like so you can have something like this. Mm -hmm. 